is immediately followed by sarcastic comments and nasty responses. Yep, we're finally where we belong. (laughs) (laughs) Don't think we don't know how to weed them out. Put a chicken in, make her gay. Put a chicken in, make her lemon gay. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. That's all, brother. I had it. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too. <laughs> Very good. Well, if you can't get out of it, get into it. Welcome to Inside the Badger Den with the Angry Badger and Mr. Tech Rat. I got to add in the uh, Jeb Bush, please clap there at the very end. Uh, we'll make a mental note of that. Welcome, everyone, of course, to Inside the Badger Den, episode 16 somehow. How the hell have we done 16 of these, the last couple of which live? And every time I tell Mr. Tech Rad, be prepared to stream to no one. No one is showing up to this, and we already got 12 people, and I already see some of the OGs. And a couple of new time, or second time, first timers. Hail to everyone that showed up, and hail to you, Mr. Tech Rad. What's going on, bro? Bra, What's up, man? Bra, um, bruv. Interesting week. We, uh... I don't know. Just been doing the normal stuff here. It's kind of slow around the den, though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My channel's under attack, but uh, no, it's just the it's just the lull. They it's say. the uh, it's the afterglow. Shout out! Look at this. Hey, Lod already one member. It's Badger and Tech. There we go. Look at the, all the. Let's say hi to the chat first before I make a joke about my channel under attack. No, gotta introduce think, them uh, also. Shadversity and all him talking about uh, being shadow banned. It's got uh, gotten all of our heads. When really it's just the after sex lull from open bar and uh, all the original Gamergate uh, stuff. But let's say hi to everyone. Wonky, what's up? Start from the beginning. Of course, John was here first, as always. Shout out. And uh, I can't, I don't know. I've never seen these two in the same place at the same time. So it's it's good. But shout out for the algorithm. Thank you. Uh, you see you guys showing up. Of course, Lod, thank you. Shout out, Reinhardt. My first badged in. Let's go. Excited for this one. Well, well, there you go. Dumb creative. I've already been to a couple. It's been a good time. See, this is what I like. Of course, down upwards. Yeah. Too, how dare you? How dare you? Badgers aren't rodents. How dare you? I was going to question that because I was fairly sure that was false. And uh, many a racisms will be done uh, accidental and on not purpose. At channel. Uh, did you fall asleep? Was it? Yeah. I mean, hopefully not while watching. You just meant you fell asleep and you weren't able to watch. But uh, here we go. Jet here, fresh to renew my my racism's cards for the Asian community because you know you can't have just one Asian uh, racism card. You got to have multiple cards that overlap, like concealed carries. Uh, tech- <laughs> this is the best stream ever. Yeah, yeah. Support is good. Yeah. Okay, googling would have been. Yeah, you look it up. It's certainly not a weasel like those fake honey badgers. At least I don't think so. That would be embarrassing. Let's see. Well, we'll wait for it to come in. Uh, Got to collect them all. Yeah. Thank you. Good to see you guys. How is everyone doing? Thank you for joining us late, 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 late on a Friday to uh, go over, go over all the fun things, all the videos that we did throughout the week and uh, the ultimate shit show uh, that is Disney. Not that it's the, the destruction. Surprising. Yeah. yeah. The continued... It's not surprising. Right. It's just... We got confirmation of what timeline we're in. We got confirmation of what timeline we're in. Well, it's starting to curve, much like your uh, channel vitamin E. Video. Yeah, say vitamin E can help with that. Uh, I hear, oh, not that type of curve you meant. No, no. no. All right. Well, now not that we've got curve, no. now that we've got the OGs, some of the people. Let's get into this first video we did starting the week was something we've been hearing about for a long while. Uh, I thought this would have been canceled. Marshallah Ali has almost left twice. It's been, it's been almost a decade. I, I say it's been rewritten now, like three or uh, four. what the fuck is a mustaliades? I don't know, but it's not a rodent and it's not a weasel. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, this has been in production forever. Production hell. This is definitely going to get a drinker uh, production <laughs> hell video. This has to be a curse word in another language. Musta. Oh, that's Mufasa. I was going to say that sounds very similar. Yeah. So this has been in production hell forever. Marashallah Ali has almost left like three or four times. And 
bro, no lies. And also, I think Todd has a spawn Batman. He doesn't. I know. I saw the first look at it uh, with uh, David Keith playing Spawn and uh, Roger Craig Smith playing Batman. And of course, Roger Craig Smith is Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Yeah, and nice. he also played Batman in Arkham Origins. So that, but yes, a lot of things will be the well, Actually, no, because that was the point of this video is that Production Weekly listed that this fucking thing is actually finally going to start filming in fall, which would put it in line for its track. Really, remember we said that the uh, aside from male and pale is stale, they love to say now survive till 25 because 2025 is when all their shit's coming out. Uh, let's see. Uh, a diverse family of carnivorous mam. Well, so far I'm on the carnivore diet, so that does sound uh, correct. Including, God damn it, including weasels, stoats, badgers, otters. Mar now, so far we're all in the same little group there. Stoats. Stoats are cute. Maybe I'll get a, a pet stoat. How's that? You learn so much weekly on this channel. The chat never disappoints. It's the ultimate, uh, like community note. Before there was community note, wasn't there? Hey, Rat. Okay. Wasn't there okay, so, Batman? So, to my knowledge, there wasn't a vampire Batman, but Batman was in the DC versus vampires, and he he spoiler he did not turn into a vampire. What up, diabolical? The Gooch, the Gooch the man. Gooch. Yes, the Gooch man. What's going on? When are you gonna have me on your show? It's like two months ago. He's like I'm booked for the next four months. He's a popular man. He's a popular man. Chuck Dixon. Everybody love a gooch. Yeah. Not to be confused with taint. Taints are the weasels. Ah, there we go. This is the man okay. right here. His hit and goal what up, 40, 40 streams in a row, I believe, is the record. Hit his goal. Yeah. Shout out. Now he has tier lists. That's how you know. Bangs him. That's Every how you, well, I don't, he, he bangs too, but he also he bangs out. Right. He bangs out those uh <laughs> those goal numbers. Um, I, I was just kidding, Gooch. You're probably man. I was kidding. Thank you. And yeah, seriously, I'm enjoying the bigot army. If you're not checking out every uh every day, every day at six o'clock PST, the actual God's time. Uh, yeah, go to Hypnotic's channel. Shout out, love when he drops by. He bangs. Well, he does, but he bangs. He bangs. Uh, but yeah, if. If Blade ever comes out, the last we heard, it's a period piece with the girl that's key to everything storyline, his daughter, and the villain is a chick trying to chase her so she can catch the daughter to make an army of vampires. And there's going to be heavy, speaking of racism, there's going to be heavy racism analogies in the, the obviously racism heavy period if they do like a 1930s type thing. So, yeah, uh, not looking good on that front. I don't know. Were you no. looking forward to? It's a. I, I love Blade. I love. I mean, too. That's the Blade. Thing, but I like the Wesley Snipes Blade, and of I like Marshala Ali. But you know they're going to neuter the shit out of him. Of course, it it is probably one of the last movies, hopefully, on that train that's mm -hmm. leaving. We're not going to see the same formula over and over again. Oh no! But we got at least another year of seeing that same formula. I like that Wonky Man. He does the correct. Uh, pronunciation for Alyssa yeah, Mercanti because it is Correct. in fact Alyssa Mercanti. I do believe that's how I, you say her name. I am pretty pleased to announce we have a new story going. Hold on, from Charlie. This is, I know. Hold on, we will we will get to the saga. I know you can figure out the charades. I do love uh, blades built this country. It is true though because Wesley Snipes and his blade did really kick off the like. Oh, you can make a comic book movie work, which they led right into Spider Man and X Men. What's going yep. on, Tim? What's going on? Kylo is with a with a, a lead a Kylo black going actor. on. Yeah. Um, so speaking of racisms, and I've talked about this only because when I covered it, I thought it was gonna be a mid-video and it it almost hit 2000 and like almost 200 likes. So people did care about it. And this, of course, is the Dilbert creator, uh Dilbert creator Scott Adams dismantling DEI ideology. It was, he was one of those things where he was half right. Where he's basically like, if you really wanted true equality, you should just have more Republicans everywhere. To, to which it's like, well, he just basically, we just need a balance to the extreme leftist uh, ideology we've been getting. It doesn't necessarily have to be Republicans because then you would just have another. But yeah, you just need a balance to the other side of sanity. Uh, sanity. Which I guess maybe that's debatable of what sanity is these days. But it, it, it was... A, 
it shows you that no matter where you go, there is someone talking out against this stuff. It just doesn't work in any way, much like socialism. Maybe it sounds good uh, to gullible people on paper, but in all practicalities, it does not work out. It does not work out. It only punishes uh, merit, which is, if you haven't learned yet, uh, not going on uh, merit. It ain't working well. No, no. not anymore. Yeah, we were, you really can't underestimate how much Trump broke people in every way you could take that statement on both sides around the like it, he really did, uh, you know, Heath Ledger, Batman, <laughs> you change things like uh, we still start. never recovered. We still never recovered now from Heath Ledger. No, we never we never will. No, but I'm saying we've also never like that that sanity barrier. Uh, boy, they've only gotten nuttier. Yeah, the Matrix. Uh, the code is showing. Oh, there's it's, a new Matrix movie coming. I know. We can talk about it after we run through this. It is sad. It is sad. But that being said, I do see a lot of hope when I see you guys and the amount of like, for lack of a better term, the the, the normies that are starting to finally wake up and see it. Uh, kind of wide open term sanity since one side let people grab all the stream. Well, well, you know, there's an app for that. There is an app for that. Are uh, we sponsored by them yet? No, no, because thankfully, uh, I could still walk around my streets without having to navigate that one. But somewhere they're making money on the shit app. But uh, hey, it's just one more grift. And speaking of, you would think with all the Gamergate 2 that like they would stop right and the they's being all the consultancy companies all the allies to them all the dei grifters you would think they would quiet down right because we're so horrible our harassment is so ever reaching uh you know the boogeyman uh mark kern grums who comes for you at the night if you put dei in your game you would think but but somehow they're still speaking up and that's when we got this one big mama house over here cornerstone interactive studios ceo uh claims that the gaming executive surrendered the video game industry to angry racists and sexists. And that's what she calls the core demographic that they're always alienating. Did she shock you? You tired yet being called a racist and a sexist? I mean, true, we are ra uh, sexist, well, no. uh, ra racist and sexist, but like, at least get it right about what we're racist and sexist about. Jeez. No, it's like you said, at a point, it doesn't mean the same thing anymore. No. Oh, no, they've long since ruined all those words. For God's sakes, the bigot army. There's an army called the bigot army of, of people that have, like, they've we've taken the word back from you because you, you've it's called a lot it of great kids. Yeah. By the way, always ironic that the people accusing bigotry are, like, bigoted as fuck about their own beliefs. Completely unmoving. Uh, I'm okay with that. Did you ever That's see... True. Did you ever see the face swap or whatever it was of... Uh, it was Tom Holland as that, and then it was uh, Robert Downey Jr. as as Doc. Perfect. Mm. It lines up perfectly with the. But again, sure. that's a movie that does not need to make. Yeah, when he zoomed into the camera, uh, Cabrutus asking questions is not harassment. Hey, remember when that used to be called journalism? Shout out to Nerd Wars, the one journalist bringing it back. Uh, I got to cover his second, the second part of that. But uh, hey, speaking to this, bro, Reinhardt. You, you, you want a job? Because you set me up for it. Just leading you. Led me right into this one. Video game outlet Niche Gamer claims that they'll be punished by PR firms and video game studios if they cover Elon Musk criticizing all the woke DEI stuff. Now, they're claiming it's just for the Xbox Global product. But really, the bigger part of this is a gaming outlet is saying that it will be punished if it covers video game news. What does that tell you? A little bit of the quiet part out loud. That's what they've been doing. And somehow no one paid attention until people started screaming. I saw uh, Nerdrotic and Drinker were on TV again. again. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, Piers Morgan. He loves them. And yeah. that's shout out to the chat. The only reason they got asked back is because we all kept talking about them and saying how great they are. And yeah, dude, that dude was so annoying. The, the DEI guy that sat there with that little puss face his whole time. I wonder if we could re react to that without getting claimed at some point. Uh, yeah, Donnie Docker is a good one. Yeah, Donnie Docker is something else. It's been a while since I've seen that. See, this is what I like to hear. Happy people. See? There's other people. We don't have to watch the mainstream. We've got all of us. 
it's a whole menagerie of, of, of uh, I'm kind of retarded, uh, to entertain you. Uh, speaking of full retard, though, and this was one of those deli- – it's Forbes. I like it because it's Forbes, so you can't accuse them. Confirmation that Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny flopped and lost. And they're being kind with this $130 million loss for Disney. They're being very kind. It was not good. No. It was not good. And, like, it not even trying to – I feel like too much we try to compare it to the old stuff because of sentiment and all that stuff but it just wasn't good yeah i mean who would have thought that uh <laughs> having him be yet again first of all yet another role where indiana jones or, or harrison ford rather has, has co-opted or co-signed the destruction of one of his legacy characters mm-hmm. i i where, uh, where a young female can outpower and outsmart him at every turn uh, another kathleen kennedy Self insert. Another How one. dare you? And she's done it. She, she can't keep getting away with it. Uh-huh. No, uh, poor Harrison. Poor Harrison. I can't wait to see what he does in this Captain America one, the one that they've been filming for like five months. Twice. Uh, they're trans. Yeah, the lies are. First of all, fucking heresy detected. Careful. FNT's been on fire the last couple of ones. Yeah, literally. They <laughs> they, uh, they, it. they they got put down, yeah. Well, first of all, you can't expect anything that Gundam is on uh to to remain monetized. Bring him on. I would have Gundam on in a second. 100%. We can he talk don't shit know here who who's going to be upset. Yeah. yeah, I would have Papa Gundam on in a second. Uh oh, I watch. Yeah, see that's the other thing is we're eating pretty good. I still watch all of the the Oh yeah. No, no, no. There's we're eating really well. That's the whole thing. Uh, Nerd Roddick is killing it. The real BBC still obviously drinker and open bar. All the hypnotic streams. It's, there's no lack of uh, of anything. Jeremy with Cobra Cast and all their streams. Yeah, Tuesday night's main event. One day, one day, and next week, uh, everyone is going to be in April or April every, next week. Everyone's going to be in uh, Vegas for their meetups. So yeah. jealousy is abound, FOMO. For sure. I worship at the feet of the gods of of uh, the fellowship, drinker and nerdrotic. And I mean that in a polite way. Just just OG respect. Just OG respect. Something that did not get respect and got torn apart. And this is the brief one, because this turned into like a three-part saga. IGN doing that L take of saying that uh, the maker of Stellar Blade had never seen a woman and that she was a sexualized doll and blah, 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 blah. Sexualized? Sure. Welcome to uh, welcome to a video game character that's not bowing to uh, Western ideology. But definitely got pointed out that this is IGN France because the other IGNs were like, no, 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 no. Don't don't blame us. And then they tried to hide it by changing, uh, taking off the actual guy that said it. And then they doubled down. And this is the double down of where the editor in chief basically said that idealized characters get women uh, ended. It's a bit of a reach. It's an Olympic level reach, I think. I mean, just in general terms, let's not be stupid. We know that sex sells, right? So, but also talking about a character in a video game who's supposed to be athletic and limber and does a bunch of acrobatics and fighting. Yeah. They're going to be toned. They're going to have a nice looking body. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And if, if they maybe increased her assets by oh forty 40% top to bottom, that's just genetics. Being, that's just genetics. Right. That's just being polite and enhancement. That's uh that's futuristic she's, ninja shit. As far as I'm concerned, she's modeled off of a human character. Yeah. Right. Right. At least the face part of the body just, just saying if maybe they hit enhance 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 grid 17 uh, 17 through 14 yeah no the point is it's always pointed out that yeah we we, we don't want to be staring at no boards for two <laughs> hours that's that's the thing uh so the next one this pissed everyone off apparently yes they do it every year but they changed they changed the dates uh, around a little bit uh it, come on and this was, I know it wasn't just Bioware, but they, of course, made a big, that transgender day of visibility that happened to fall on fucking Easter on I mean, a Sunday. Easter. 
And uh, I, 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 several people said that originally they do it a few days later and then they changed it. So come on. They knew what they were doing. They knew how the reactions would be. Apparently it's been for quite a many years, but I never heard about it till this year. Oh, I've heard of know. Transgender Day of Visibility. I've just never heard of it. I didn't on know Easter it was on Easter. Now, granted, yeah. that might just be a you know once every couple of years it falls on that. Oh yeah, but boy. They, I think the ultimate point was that was like they only did a tweet about that. They posted nothing about any other holiday for anyone else. Which is just it's curious. Uh, yeah, I, look, I haven't played any of the Celebrate because it's uh, the demos only PlayStation, as far as I know. So if it comes out on PC. I'll play it. But from what I've seen, what I heard, it actually is decent on top of the, fa the fact that she's like fun to look at while you're, you're while you're playing. Uh, but yeah, you most of the crap. games, absolute shite. That's why when you do get a Helldivers, it has a super solid gameplay loop. Sorry. <laughs> gameplay mechanic or anything like that. I hate to, I feel like I'm FOMOing you no, every no, time no. I hey, bring it up. I, I've been, I've been paying attention since you brought it up. Uh, you want to talk about the whole uh, uh, Malvern Creek Cape situation? <laughs> yeah what about it what what do you know about it are we gonna are we gonna pour one out for the homies i uh, mean transgender they are gone wow. remember the gingers they've all been replaced by the blicks every single one of them actually that's not true jimmy olsen coming up as a redhead uh yeah they know what they're doing yeah hell has been pretty consistent it's pretty consistent I, anytime as soon as i can don't worry about it I know, I know. Well, we, we've talked a lot. Yeah, I know. I saw that. You better be doing everything. I bet there better be glorious patriotism or outstanding patriotism uh, when you're done with your drop. I'll tell you that right now. I, I, it is funny when another ginger gets and everyone just posts that same meme of like the 30 different uh, ginger side uh, victims. Yeah. Why? Why did they come for that? I don't get it. Probably because of the whole uh, yeah. the gingers don't have souls things. They were like, let's just get them out of here then. Hearsay. It's hearsay. I'm just putting it out there. Oh. Helldivers has where that was one of the hubbubs, uh, Hypnotic, that we did the video about it is the uh, the theys and the thems and the trans uh, missions, auto and manual, got very upset with the Helldivers devs for not capitulating and putting in trans flags or any type of flags uh and then like removing posts on their form so i maybe they'll capitulate because that's sort of what the next story is about uh the influence but I, so far it seems like they're not so i'm hoping that uh, hell divers will continue to hold that line and the only flags i want are the patriotic fight bugs fight automaton ones personally i hope I have hope. What I don't have hope for, and this is, of course, is Nintendo of America is uh, asking for their DEI localizers. This is just another way they do it. They get it when they're they're translating it for locals, and that's when, of course, they they add in all their horrible ideology. So, not looking good for Nintendo. On top of that, Pokemon shit. Did you see Pokemon? Have you looked at your Pokemon Go app lately? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they changed the female figures to look more like male figures to be I more know. ambiguous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what what uh, people act like this? Well, there wasn't a fucking term for it. You don't need to say non-binary. It's called androgynous. So they made them all look androgynous AF. Yet more yeah. in their pathway. Yeah, yeah. Trans. There's a lot of that translating uh, going around. Yeah, it's well, very good. I don't understand what they're going to insert at Nintendo. Like, what do you, what do you, most of the video games, first of all, don't have speech. You're, you're reading everything, so it's all text. That's so even easier. Get, that's even easier insert, to switch out. Yeah, so that's yeah, what they do. Paste. So, any single thing that you could change to have some sort of like gay positivity analogy, some sort of trans, that's what they do. That's what all the local localizers do. They change the jokes to be pro something, or they're like, it's a Oh, to use the term insidious, it is an insidious tactic that works. That right, works. So I wish I could talk about so it. So you're saying my current suggestion is correct. Uh, pick up one of those cheap Android handheld systems on like Amazon for 60 bucks that do emulation all the way up to like PlayStation 1 and just play all the old Nintendo shit that's good. Well, that's what we heard that like certain markets in Japan are straight up going to use AI for localization so they don't have to run into this problem. But 
yeah, new games do have actual speed. Uh, it, more ways for them to. I'm just saying, if there's a will, there's a way, and they have the will, and they'll find the way to do their localizer shit. And yeah, I don't know how compartmentalized uh, Nintendo is, but at least DEI, DEI and Nintendo America, which is like a parent company that does other things, it's there. It's there. It's undeniable. So how much of that just is because it has to be there for appearances and how much actual control they're going to have? I don't know, but it's just uh, when people like Tim Pool want to say the DEI is done and we've beaten them. No, we fucking haven't. No, we haven't. We've had some victories. There's some scratches on the dragon. Dragon's still very much alive and setting shit on fire. Very much alive and setting shit on fire. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, they, they, and they'll keep doing that. By the way, they'll keep doing that. Make him Mario's old. next. <sighs> He's to me, and I'll never buy the agenda flu with the Mario. Maria, like Maria, about the two weeks of agenda flu with the uh, treatment. The pills, like, and yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of a treatment, what what was going to be? They've said this was going to be five seasons, and now I'm I'm there with the pool that say that they're going to do this. The second season will come out. They'll do a third season a third. on a shoestring budget and wrap it up. Wrap it right up. And uh, that's it. Because, again, the famous 30, 36% of people never actually finished this fucking show. Guilty. Did you? How much of this did you watch? I didn't finish the second episode. He's, you know, he's actually... Puerto Rican. He's not Blick. I mean, you know, if you went deep down, he is. But like, he's half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is supposed to be yeah, identifies though for us. I don't want this. I would love to. I deny. I deny. I deny this. But can I take then this representation back you. and uh, switch it out for representation of equal or lesser value? I wonder if that's possible. Grums. Oh, you ever been gummed, Charlie? That was his ex. He's a hundred percent gay, though. Ah, yeah. Not that there's anything wrong. With Not that. that there's anything wrong with that, unless you're writing an X Men uh, series and having OnlyFans, and then that's apparently frowned upon. They don't like that. Not one bit. But finish uh, the series first, then we'll fire you. Yeah. By the way, I uh, shipped every every joke that Gary and Disbrew and all of them made ended up becoming true. Girl boss Galadriel that killed a nice troll in under thirty seconds. Uh, leading people and fighting when she never did. Uh, chasing after uh, a wafy um, Halbrand, which was just Sauron. Still have oh, faith. Season three. Oh, see, Lod. I was with you, and then we. I it was in that article. I didn't mention it. Those fucks got um, the showrunners for Rings of Power. They got another three-year deal, and they got their production company. I forgot what it's called. Something stupid. Uh, their production company made. So not only are we going to hear more from uh, the one that called us all fascists or whatever for not liking his show, uh, but yeah, it's going to get season three. Buzz cut elves. Yeah, it was the fade for me. It was weird. And then they made all the 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 orcs like literally white that were burned by the sun it was they turned on a volcano by inserting a sword into a thing and turning it and then water went in and yeah they're gonna lower even further it's gonna lower it's gonna be i, I don't know what they're gonna do they're gonna have three cgi everything else is gonna be i don't know i don't know what they're gonna do no one's gonna watch it either way speaking of no one's gonna watch the shit do the shit anything about this and I, one of the earliest uh, virals, of course. Let's see. This is my first reaction upon watching. Hello, it. Batman. I'm not binary now. <laughs> and that's almost exactly what it turned out to be. A, a, a twinky little, the, the, the twinkler, whatever it was called. Yeah. Came out to no one. Our Gotham Knights, I believe, still has a higher concurrent player base than this. God. Yeah, you know that video is almost like half a million views on uh, on the instas. Yeah, on the instas of Graham. Yeah, Crazy. that was a fun one. I think more now it would have been I'm I'm uh, I'm gender fluid or something like that. But either way, none of it none of it was enough for them. I uh, wait until female. Isn't it uh, Mr. Freeze's daughter? Is the next one? I believe so. He's a tingle. Yeah, I'm waiting for the uh, Puff Daddy DLC, the Diddler. 
that's going to be a good one. The Woker. Yeah. Not Gandalf. We travel. <laughs> not Sam and not Fro. God, you know, and I will say that that was the one part about that Rings of Power that I did like is whatever the dude that played not Gandalf. He actually was a decent actor. They just didn't give him much to work with. But he was like the only part of the entire eight whatever episodes it was that I was interested in. So, yeah, we'll see what they do with that one. You should watch it. You should watch it yeah. and see if just see how great the uh the magnificence of Galadriel is. Did you know she killed the nice troll in under 30 seconds? I heard something about that. It's really really impressive. It's going to be like the new Kessel run. She, she she swam, she swam across an ocean and then just happened to meet Sauron who was on a raft and fell for him. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool. Uh, so do you remember when, uh, black girl gamers threatened to sue that part place and anyone that covered their stuff? You got an email? No, no. But, uh, that was met with a resounding go fuck it yourself oh, by that park that. place's lawyer. I know. I know. So we basically all said, bring it. We basically all said, bring it because that would mean discovery. First of all, they don't have the money to sue all of us. Uh, but the, but discovery and like going through their emails and their actual hiring practice would, would destroy them. Yeah. We all guess that they probably just found a cease and desist le letter, like a form letter on the internet, and then just filled it out. That's basically exactly what they did. And so we have uh, Ron Coleman, who is the lawyer for now full respect to him for grifting the shit out of this and making a whole video. But like, the sum of this whole video was like, yeah, we're ignoring, we're ignoring your cease and desist letter because it's, it's groundless and you, you can't prove any of this and uh, good luck. Good luck. We'll see you in court basically, which I think is what we all said. Just think what you have to say to them. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm keep me out of it. I felt you thought it. I felt you thought, thought it. What I thought. Yeah, they weren't. That's the thing is they weren't even real. Like, Th th that's the point yeah they were just found on the internet anyone could have gotten it switched out a couple of things and i guess maybe they thought it would intimidate AI them. would have done a better job yeah but if you haven't noticed these people <laughs> have no fucking merit and are ridiculous so when they try to do things like this yeah it, it gets reversed. And then obviously, yeah, Ron is going to make the best out of, uh, he's going to make the lemons out of, uh, lemonade out of their lemons. Uh, speaking of, this is one of, uh, there's a two-parter of this, but this first part is uh, Grums, Mark Kern. He really pissed yeah. off Mercanti with his April Fool's joke about them getting married. They have no uh, humor. They have no humor. Well, the left can't meme. That's a, that's a famous uh, thing. But, uh, yeah. Grums did this because basically she keeps blocking him and unblocking him and then like responding to something he'll say and then blocking him again and then going back and forth. So he, yeah, yeah he made a joke it's about oh, maybe she wants to marry me. And then she took it literally. And oh, uh, of all the things she takes, she took that literally. Oops. Savage in three words. Yeah, no. Going back to that, Ron. Yeah, no, they, I don't think we're going to hear much from uh, Black Girl Gamers again. I don't think they're going to be suing anyone. We will hear from Alyssa Mercanti again, but we won't be hearing from Black Girl Gamers again. So did you bet on who would win? <laughs> did you bet on who would win in the Disney thing? Do you think? Did you think there was no. a chance that Nelson no. Peltz? No. No, I knew it was going to go this way. Yeah. I had thoughts. I had thoughts when we had that leak that uh, that maybe Peltz was doing a leak that we're now finding out did come from Disney. So from that, that might have been house. the call always is coming from inside the house. And yeah, 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 they won, they won. And so now there's talk of uh, Bob either succession, which probably won't happen, and how they've won. And uh, trust me. Even if you take it with its best grain of salt. Now, of course, as soon as this was confirmed, the stocks immediately dropped from like 124 bucks to a hundred and uh, I think 17. And then now it's back up to 118. So no one has any faith in it. Yeah. No one has any faith in it. And we they're trying to grow. I mean, everything they're, they're building Disneyland bigger. They're trying to do more down in Florida. 
and then you know all their TV shows are tanking. Oh, I I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so excited for the Acolyte and uh, well, actually, X Men '97 is getting Ooh. it's getting some good reviews. Ironheart. They do not want to release that. They've been holding onto that shit forever. I can't wait. Yeah, we're not. I remember, love Iron Man. I believe the only thing we're getting this year, TV wise, is the Agatha. Oh, we got Echo, and we're getting Agatha, and then that Deadpool, and that's it. And then at some point in 2025, Iron Wars or Iron Heart, whatever, that's been done for three years almost. All right, here's a question. What is the male character that's going to be dragged through the shit in Agatha? Oh, I thought you were going to say Ironheart because we know who the answer to that. Uh, Agatha, I, a trick question. Will there be a male character in Agatha? I don't think so. I go Probably not. Homework. Probably not. But real quick, getting on to the angry, uh, angry women that hate us. Compulsion Games community. Ma- They're going to find a pattern also this week. A lot of community managers got outed got outed for hating the community that they're managing. So this was uh, this was this one at Compulsion Games saying she hates gamers and that white male gamers are a mistake. And uh, this, of course, gets pointed out. I don't out even understand what that means. I That white male gamers are a mistake. That probably that means that we should never have been. Should have never been let into gaming. I, I guess I. I don't know. And Who this was also keeping goes keeping us from getting into gaming. I don't understand. Yeah, and this is this go this is the same type of people that uh say that uh, Asians are white adjacent. Yeah. 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 And uh as we'll find out, this is uh they're really not happy at uh Grums, Mark Curran for pointing out these community ma- uh managers. Yeah, it's it goes right in line with the fact when they've told us repeatedly that they want to replace their core demographics. And the way you do that is through, I know it's a commie word community, but you do that through like the interaction with fans and boy, what kind of interaction do you think they're, uh, <laughs> they're organizing when that's who their community organizers are? Probably not, probably not the best faith, probably not the best faith type. Uh, <sighs> Oh my god! No. My parents always said I was a mistake. <laughs> Glad she they confirmed it. It's horrible. I see you. You you were not a mistake. How dare they? Wait a minute. Not all mistakes are a bad thing. A happy I'm mistake? Sorry. I think maybe they meant happy mistake. Let's hope that. Yeah. Uh oh, rat! You're an extension of HR. I'm an extension of a lot of things. <laughs> Giggity. Uh, this was one of those videos I did just to confirm that the sharks are still in the water. And I dread it every day coming closer to fruition. They're still doing the Knights of the Old Republic remake. Yep. So Embracer Group. Now, the reason everyone flipped out about this is there's someone uh, by the name of Sam Mags who was involved in the first part of Gamergate. And uh, that was who came in and was like, oh, God, she's going to update it for a modern audience. Thankfully, uh, as we find out, she only worked on it for about six months and then she's gone. And then the group that owned it, Embracer Group sold it so now an entirely new company is doing it no word yet on what they're keeping in or what they're taking out if they fucking say it's for a modern audience then you should be yeah no this is what scares me too yeah they announced canceling it but then now it's saying it is still alive and whether still making it at saber interactive uh you know what they're gonna do You see, speaking speaking with IGN following the sale of Saber Interactive to Beacon Group by Embrace. So Embracer Group was the one that had um, all the, a lot of companies have it. But for sure, Embracer Group had the DEI shit. No word yet on Beacon Group, but that's who owns Saber Interactive. And Saber Interactive is still remake. Uh, Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's a remake. Remake. Not remaster, remake. Which means they're going the Resident Evil some parts are going to be taken out. Some parts are going to be kept in. Here's the rub. Back in Legends, the uh, the 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 big thing was whether or not Revan was female. Canonly, they made Revan a male eventually, and then and then uh, in the second game, the female is the canon one, uh, Mitra Surik, the Jedi general that follows him. But the point is, 
there's a whole line in legends now of Revan being male with Bass to LaShawn having a kid, the kids in the Knights of the Republic game, uh, yeah, but, Farron Chan. What does all that, that have to do with whatever story this right. person wants? That's the to point tell. is they, yeah. they could come in completely override it. All of a sudden say Revan is female now completely ignore the entire storyline because God knows they don't even consider the old Republic canon now. I don't know. It's worrisome. It's worrisome. It would be great if they do it right, but I just have no faith, no and faith to answer a previous remark there seems to be almost no men on the cast of the agatha tv show thank you thank you and by yeah, the way this is because yeah. this is literally kim Blair's first suggestion if someone asks like can you make him a person of color like that yeah. verbatim that's what she said and by the way jolie bindu one of the greatest black uh, characters in all of star wars uh says some of the best this lines i know they'll they'll act or make them even worse or more hardcore but uh they'll act like he doesn't exist this is the thing it's right there knights of the republic has plenty of diversity in it it's got it does have gay juhani is gay as fuck if you didn't notice uh the juhani character so I, obviously they wouldn't probably do it with the subtlety that it was done in the original what are their games. pronouns though she was a they she, was she a they them no she was a she her she was a she her but if you try to date her, she basically tells you that she doesn't swing that way. And if you try to date her as a female character, she basically tells you that she's still hung up on her her ex. So my point is, it was always there. It was just done with a lot more talent. And they don't have that talent to do it, which is why I worry. I worry. They and don't it won't have be the talent and the or people the will. don't have the intelligence to play it and understand it if it's not laid out properly in front of them. By the way, you're going to get, it ain't going to be the forces female or the forces Karen. It's going to be the forces non-binary. Wait for the, I can't wait for the acolyte. I'm the only one excited. I think Ryan from RK Outpost is excited too, for the same reasons. It's so going to shit on this. Wait Very until they change. and greatly. The force, because it's too aggressive sounding. George has been very clear that there a hundred percent is a light side and the dark side. There is a hundred percent evil, good and evil. And so every time they say that dumb shit about there's not really any good or evil and it's all murky, blah, 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 blah. I cringe. I cringe eternally, but that's what's going to be so great about it is this is, is watching, watching Leslie Headland, Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant, Leslie Headland <laughs> butcher the cannon like a little kid that could just take any piece of candy she wants and see what she does with it. I can't wait. And yeah, she openly said that, sh that it's supposed to be just Trinity, basically. Carrie Ann Moss. I love that she has Trinity. that tagline in quotations it's on her name every line. time you say it. Well, it's who she is. She's Harvey Weinstein's <laughs> yeah, former yeah, yeah, personal yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure she knew nothing over the years. Absolutely nothing. She has very big, girthy arms, and I'm sure she's never held anyone down. I'm sure that's never happened. Tagged. Hearsay. Tagged. Hearsay. What am I saying? I hear what I'm not saying. It's all opinion. Uh, Slander. Yeah, you won't watch the shows, but you'll watch us shit on them. And that's what matters. I'm waiting for Graf Web to show up. Oh, it's right. He did tell me. We remember we tried to summon him. I only said it three times. I have to say it four times. So Graf Web, Graf Web, Graf Web, Graf Web. That is four times. Let's see if he shows up to uh, super chat two dollars and tell me to cancel uh, Disney Plus. Yeah, and so we used to have as, but as passed away. Uh, Batwoman took him out, and he hasn't reacted to anything since. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, and as. It's a nice combination. Robin Hood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I actually have it still. I think I do. Uh, yeah. He's so <laughs> <laughs> guys made his whole uh, camera shake for the whole that. thing with the cookie jar in that show i think broke him a little more uh all those star wars books would have been excellent lore source if disney actually wanted to make good star wars i'm still so baffled that they just immediately wrote them all off and then of course kathleen has that famous one is like well it's not like we have it's not like we have hundreds of books and comics our detailed research has been exhaustive in the field of extending our reach into the customer base. Have you considered making it black and gay? It's fucking, that's what it is. It's, it's that it really is that. And it's, we've this. tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. That is the biggest one. If you look at every fucking movie coming out, it's a prequel, it's a sequel, or it's a reboot 
or it's a re sequel, like it's a retooling, a reimagining. Holy shit! Creative bankrupt gets thrown around a lot, oh, but we are pretty creatively bankrupt. Again. The, and we'll talk about it. The only is few and far between of things I've seen that are great. I do want to talk about the gentleman when we're almost done with topics. Oh. The gentleman is a 10 out of 10 perfect Badger recommends. It doesn't so get better than here. that. And it makes me, it fills me with hope for humanity that something could like that could be, uh, still be. But, but real quick, hope? you know, next Thursday we got Fallout coming out. Yeah, hold on. We'll talk about that too. What, but, but I need to crush your hope, but to crush you, to see you driven before me and to hear the lamentations of the women. Uh, we are getting a refresh off of Disney winning and uh bob that we're gonna talk about in a second saying that they don't have messaging in anything and they're uh they blah blah blah. there's your silver surfer of of and of course the only time the only time they fucking say it was in the comics is the one example if there was a hundred comics the one example of the female silver surfer is the one that they're going to use so shalabal who is noran rad's you know love interest and the reason he becomes the herald of the galactus to spare to her, save her. Yeah. yeah yeah She's gonna be the hero. I, I if you want me to steel man it, I could say that uh Fantastic Four is supposedly set in the 60s and an alternate earth, and they're just showing this version. And when they go into the MCU proper, it will be Norn Rad. But why the fuck would I try to steel man anything they say? No good good interpretations for them. Yeah, she's she was like a Oh, the Arnold. Disney. Took me a second to go. Which one? Because I'm a little ADD with the impersonations. Thank you. Yeah. What was, what was the show they did on Disney? Ozark. The What If? The What If Oh, series. the What If one. Sorry, I thought you were talking about her. Yeah, no, no, no. Her, uh, uh, Shala Ball was like a What If. It was only in one oh, episode. I stopped. It was, was one this book. the second one? No, no, no. I, I mean... In, no, no, no. Oh, it's light. You're saying I'm, it was I'm that. Saying oh, by the way, expect to see it. her probably. Expect yeah. to see this in a what if for sure. Because that's how they do. They always pick the one obscure comic and then they legitimize it by inserting them in other new ones. Right. Uh, and it still doesn't do well. <laughs> that's a good meme. And yeah, it's it's pretty complete. They got every single franchise with the exception of Back to the Future because uh, Robert Zemeckis is still alive. Um, let's. I like... I would say I like Julia Garner, but again, yeah. no good interpretation of why they knew they knew the messaging that this would have. They knew how we would react. Um. Oh, you know, I'm not sure if I did this in order, but either way, that's all right. Uh, the, the DEI police. This is that melanin gamers where they. I think they're yeah. trying to either. This is definitely a response to Sweet Baby Inc. Detected, but it's the reverse where they're going to go around. I think it's Melanin Gamers and The Watch, uh, which is just another consultancy group. Boy, that's what I'm saying. These fucking consultancy groups are coming out of the woodwork. But they're they're going around. They're going to rate uh, communities for their toxicity level. And I think we were all laughing that, uh, oh, maybe good. Call of Duty is at a 55%. That's still rookie numbers. so bad. Was it 78? Yeah, no, this is funny. Yeah, they got to they gotta do that. They gotta, you got to get those rookie numbers. You got to get those up. I have heard in my lifetime, and, and I have said some very horrendous crap, and most of it came from thoughts from shit that was told to me in chat on that game. Oh, no. We were all molded by party chats, Halo, Call of Duty, all those things. If you weren't if you weren't called all the horror... That's why uh, getting called all these things when we didn't like Ray or Captain Marvel was like, well, I've been called these things before, but for very different yeah. reasons and under very different yeah. circumstances. And you know what's crazy? All those things my mom allegedly did in those party chats never happened. Yeah. I asked. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, uh, every gamer has fucked your mom if you've played uh -huh. Call of Duty. Yeah. So she's, but she, your mom was a dirty girl if you ever played Call of Duty. <laughs> Apparently, if, if, if the word on the street is to be believed. Um, by the way, I've heard him and I, you know, God bless uh, Marty McFly. Um, kind of think of his actual name. It's horrible. Wow. What's Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. Thank you. I was blanking out there. He basically said he'd be fine right, with a 15 year old. He'd be fine with the 15 year old black uh, Marty McFly girl. Like he would be all right with the, the race swapping of it. So be, okay. be glad that Robert Zemeckis and, uh, and, and one other hold the rights because it would be gone. It would be gone. 
So guys, what's up, man? I saw you this morning. It's nice as I'm, I'm recognizing. I mean, we got the OGs, but like more and more, I'm seeing some of the same names. I like it. Almost consistently, like consistently streaming and announcing it builds a, oh, you can't say community because that's communist shit, but a fellowship. Legion. A legion, a badger legion if of sorts. Uh, shout out to Film Threat and Alan Ng for this continued I did cover it, even though this one is dead in the algorithm. So this is what makes me like, yeah, okay. I've had several people tell me I'm shadow banned. Boy, that would suck. Uh, I, I, this is maybe what Shad's talking about when he did his videos. That just like it's the algorithm's not looking good for a lot of people because I'm seeing a lot of uh, people in our sphere and their their numbers are less. I think maybe it's just a collective. It's just not a great week. We know YouTube does suppress certain people's videos for different reasons, and we knew it's going to happen especially when, when politics start getting talked about more and more. Um, but shout out to Film Threat for this. Going to keep it because it is important. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I said. I'm too small for the shadow band, giggity. Uh, but who knows? Who knows what you say or don't say that can get uh, attention. Well, especially when robots are you know moderating it's all that's the other thing is it's like 99% of that fucking AI algorithm, uh, AI like sets and checks checks and balances uh but yeah they're continuing with this this was basically how wish was just the ultimate shit show it killed it showed all the failings of jennifer lee and uh yeah god knows what they're gonna do next and it also was like the biggest effect of those ballooned budgets as we saw once they took over fully and once they used me too to oust all the people with talent that happened to be male and stale uh male and pale because male and pale is stale yeah that this was what they could do and uh it wasn't good it wasn't good i still didn't watch wish which i probably won't no. but like i don't even want to watch it to uh yeah yeah but like having kids i've seen so many damn animated and i like animated myself but it's just it's not good anymore uh it's not what it used to be <clears throat> someone famously on that open bar chat did say that i made a joke more racist than ryan kennel which i i wear that badge with proud i made an fbi space statistic joke as Ner nerdworth likes to say yeah so someday it doesn't precede me though thankfully i do not get called an avowed racist or bigot everywhere i go but uh yeah give it time i got room to grow i got room to grow on that uh, personally tuned out of all politics a couple of days this week. Unusual for me. Yeah, it depends on what form it is. Sometimes, sometimes you just can't help it. Sometimes if you completely ignore uh, all the politics and then it shows right up high uh, in your <laughs> in your normal um, culture. I don't know if I really have a Negan. I think I did the ooh wee you are creepy as shit one when he's when he turns around, but yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, shout out to Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who I'm still salty we never got him as a Ooh. Flashpoint Batman. What oh, a missed yeah. opportunity. What a missed opportunity. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. They overhauled the internet in 2015 using the... I'm going to take your word for that. I'm going to take your word for that. I still, It still breaks my brain when I try to think of what the internet actually is. So that shows you what a monkey brain I have. <laughs> we were all rebooted mm -hmm. in a specific year, and I think that's when we stopped. Was it 2013? I think yeah, it was so 2013. It's when they turned on that CERN reactor, and it popped us uh, out of the correct timeline. Alternated. <laughs> I believe that's the uh, it's the Berenstein Bears Mandela Mandela effect. Yep. So this is the one that almost broke me. This is the one that almost broke me. This motherfucker, and he said this like four or five times, but just this this double down on the day that they won, saying that that they're not political, they're not in the culture war, and they don't put messaging in any of their things. I don't believe you. Press X to doubt. Press X to doubt. Yeah. So when he was asked in an interview, the woke thing has had more of an impact. You said to me that you would love to be just out of the culture wars. Do you feel you're succeeding in that? But to, uh, cut, cut to a year of all the things that we just got and and and, uh, and all the things we're about to get uh, and his answer is well i think yes i mean i think the noise is sort of quieted down i've been preaching this for a long time at the company before i left and since i came back that our number one goal is to entertain now he says that he says that but then 
on the other, uh, other side of his mouth, he says shit about how, like, well, I don't see a lot of these things as political. I just see it on decent human and be blah, 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 blah. And it's like that leads to them paying for, like, you know, trans and kids and stuff like that. He's like, but it's not political. Yeah, because they say that. It's not political. It's just the right side of history. That they, they, they want to cater to a specific group, which yeah. is the smaller group. Yeah, well, and shout out to Chloe Cole for like blasting them, and uh, that was the recording of her basically saying like, uh, "How about you start paying for some detransitioning? Because you're it's it's a one way path uh, here." Oh well, uh, a cholo thing. Well, I'm half Puerto Rican, but that's not the cho- cholo would be Mexican. So, I, where's the favorite? Where's my favorite Latinx in the chat to uh, take offense to that? Oh, he's it's five minutes till he's coming, right? Right, he always shows he shows up right before yeah we bounce. Uh yeah, so this was Bob just completely missing all the the things that if you don't think the acolyte, if you don't think the acolyte is going to be just one big goddamn messaging. I I, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah it's not going to be a good message say. either. They have another one coming out. Um I think it's an animated something or another. Let me see. Well, and we, before we do, I, I missed this, but it was earlier in the week. And just just as a slight capping off, uh, um, on Stellar Blade, they did end up apologizing. They did end up apologizing. It means nothing. And we're all laughing. But uh, yeah. So apologizing suck it, for IG in France. Oh, for IG in France. Yeah. For the back pedal was yeah. real quick. Yeah. 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 No. Uh, for for uh, their attacks. Of course, they got pointed out by everyone that like the dude was married and it was based on a real thing and yeah no it was just an l take so hey at least they tried at least they tried yeah that is the videos for the week now now we could be degenerates and talk about uh all the things you wanted to talk about yeah matrix okay. five uh okay, gentlemen first, all the fun thing whatever chat wants here. to bring up uh tales of the empire is a new disney plus the trailer just came out yeah, we watched that on uh, we watched that on Nerd Rage this morning. I don't, he doesn't. I don't think we got claimed. Um, interesting. I don't know. Is there any interest in watching that? Uh, I don't care to. I was just mentioning it. I believe. I, saw it. I meant like um, watching the show. Like, I, I believe it's supposed no. to be a sequel series to Tales of the Jedi, but they're telling they're telling the story of like between the Empire and the building of the Inquisitor. Inquisitorious. Yo, wonky man said Abigail made me think. I believe there's a movie coming out by the same title. I saw it. I saw it. It looks seen, interesting. Uh, tri- yeah, d- d- is it? Do you have any idea what it's about besides some some chick name? My pattern recognition saw it and I was like, no. All right. So uh uh dude has a lot of money, right? So what do you do? You kidnap his daughter. But then they realize they've kidnapped this kid who is a vampire and she is now going to start hunting them. So they went from, you know, crazy. So, yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. A little vampire action. Um, let me see. Because one thing. Yeah, I did see this. Matrix 5 in the works with Drew. See, that's the only reason I would be interested in this is Drew Goddard as director. Lana Wachowski is an executive producer. I give less than a fuck because they've proven after that last one, they don't know how to make a Matrix movie anymore. But uh, yeah, I think the interesting idea here is that Drew Goddard is the one that went to them. Is the one that went to Drew came to Warner Brothers with a new idea that we all believe would be an incredible way to continue the Matrix world by both honoring what Lana and Lily began over 25 years ago and offering a unique perspective based on his own love of the series and characters. Wait, who who started who made the movie? Oh, Lana and Lily. Oh, right. Yeah, the Wachowski sisters. No, but that was the new one. Who made the original one? The Wachowski. What are you talking about? You you're trying to get me to dead name them? How it's dare so you? Confusing. To I'm be on an to old your man these days. I'm on to your trickery. The Wachowski siblings. Eh? Eh? There you go. Fucking they Wachowski brothers. 
Hey, at least those boys got in on it before it was a social contagion. I mean, they really committed. A hundred percent. Well, they socially contagion, contagion to each other. No, but like before it was an act, like a popularity thing. Before it was a thing. Yeah. So no word what the fuck this movie is going to be about. No word what it's going to be about. Uh, they cut Neo at the end and they made Trinity equal parts chosen one. So uh, God knows what's, what's going to go on with that one. Well, she's a Jedi now. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to have a Star Wars with uh, Sith hunting Jedi, but no lightsaber fights because she's got a little knife. Got a little knife. She's got a knife. That's not a knife. That's not a knife. It's, yeah, no. I've got no faith in it whatsoever. Yeah, no, that's basically... I wanted, if you were going to come back and have an actual him be Neo and like do a finishing story, but they're not, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. The uh, intelligent. The gentleman. Where are you on that? You well, finish I finished it? it like that first weekend. Am I, am I wrong in assuming and, and saying that this is a, like a 10 out of 10 series? So good. And if you haven't seen it, watch it. If no, you haven't seen the movie, watch it. No spoilers. That's what I'm saying. I want to j- j- just, Yeah watch that show if it if it just ended if we never saw another one it would be all right but it actually got me super excited for a second season dude i want to go grab a burger and a smoke with jimmy (laughs) poor jimmy there's uh there's a couple of good characters of diverse nature uh and gender from underrepresented groups some might say his brother, brother looks is like Henry Cavill. Trouble. Looks like a, a slightly fatter in the face Henry Cavill. Oh, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would too. But yeah, so that was in. That's the Badger. That's the Badger recommends. Go watch the gentleman. Uh, Finish Incredible season two. Also a Badger recommends. Thank God I waited so I didn't have to wait for that four or six month time period between uh, releases. Yeah. Um, I hate to break it to you, but Gary is 100% correct. Any day now, we will be hearing about them redoing Star Wars. They're not going to wait for George to die. There, we'll, we will get a, a, either another prequel or an original. I mean, really, they'll probably just work everything they're doing right now. They'll just lead right into to rebooting the original trilogy again. So Watch. crazy. Yeah, he's right. They have nothing left. What else do they have? God knows. We're not. I think. I think. And or two for sure is still coming out. Like it's done, done, and they're just doing okay. like the wrap up. Yeah, I didn't Fine. hate Andor. I didn't hate it. I just didn't really care about it because I don't. Yeah, uh, Gabriel Luna is not a not a captivating. It's uh, not a main, unfortunately. You're not main character. I'm sorry. You try, but you're not. You know, no. Your discount Kyle Katarn. Yeah, you know what? You said it right here. Huh? Oh. Uh, what Jonathan Jonathan said it I've started no. watching so much anime lately yeah I say everything's in the past my kid but yeah it's it, yeah all the stuff in the past all the bangers yeah that's where you gotta go yeah no so I'm looking god the things I'm looking forward to aren't because I think they're gonna be great can't wait uh no, I didn't actually no. wasn't making videos on the channel yeah. when Andor was uh when Andor was out in a boot. So I was watching like Star Wars theory talk about it and uh watching Mauler have his because he did not like it at first, and then I think he watched past three or four episodes. I like, mean, I, I admit the tenth episode is good. The prison out break uh episode of Andor is good television. But that's not because it's good Star Wars. It's just because it's a good episode that has Andy Serkis in it doing a good Andy Serkis role. Would you be interested in doing reviews of such if the people wanted it? No. No. I mean, yes, like if the people wanted it, but most people don't want those reviews and the viewing numbers show it. Like, at least, or maybe it was just sure. people certainly didn't care about uh, Halo or any reviews of that. But yeah, like, uh, ac- Acolyte, I'm doing reviews of that shit, whether anyone wants it or not. That's that's happening. Well, I think we saw that with Ahsoka because there's a lot of good actors in there, and they put some pretty shit performances. Because uh, again, it's just and Kenobi, all of them. They've all like are capable of. Even the Riva actress is good in the uh, Queen's Gambit. 
So it just goes to show you there is only so much they can do with what they're given. And we know what the writer's room looks like. So what what was Leslie Headland's vast writing experience while holding down? I mean, while scheduling uh, meetings for Harvey? I, I don't know. I don't know. Somehow, apparently, it made her a, a Star Wars virtuoso who knows the she canon. Like the had to back tell of a, a lot of different stories about why this happened and why this person was here. And this is the correct answer, though. This is why yeah. I'm Disney Star Wars is Disney Star Wars. Star, Star, Star Wars is the Legends is the one that they said doesn't count. That's the actual Star Wars one. We we all have that. That's good. We go back and read that. Some really good collected comics. Oh, and they're starting to learn. I'm starting to see some of those collected comics that I was telling you about. They're being re-released. They're being re-released. Oh, we gotta, Did you see? Did they'll you be see, on a uh, wall somewhere. Oh, hieroglyphs. She was big old warden, yeah. key ring to lock down the chains on the ankles. Yeah. I thought I was here to read for a part. Oh, you were here for a part, all right. Yeah. Nope. Oh, my God. It was all worth it. Quick. It was all worth it, Javi. Just give me my goddamn show. Hey, did you watch the Nickelodeon shit? Uh, ta talking about getting dark quickly. No, but Papa Badger did. And I uh, kept talking. I was like, yeah, it sounds horrible. Sounds like I don't want to watch it because I get it, but like I want to watch it to see. You know, I, I, it's not like I want to know what happened, but like I don't. do. I want to ruin all these things any more than it has been. Yeah, I don't need the. I don't need that to be Milo and Otis for me. Trauma. Yeah. Wait till someone goes. What do you mean, Milo and Otis? Do you no, mean that movie? No. Uh huh. No. You can thank Ryan from RK Outpost for ruining that one for me. Fourteen Thanks, people. Bro. We're all going to go and find out. No, it's fine. You're going to F around and find out. Yeah, just don't look it up. Just just, just keep that childhood movie uh, <laughs> in your childhood memories. Yeah. No. 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 Oh. No. I think it's actually more than four. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just say movie magic should remain movie magic. <laughs> we, we, we all know too much about mm -hmm. how they make things. Yeah, so Matrix coming out, Drew Goddard. Again, I'm curious about that one only because it was his idea, and I wonder what the fuck his idea was, and he's made some good shit. Also was seeing uh, 28, whatever 28 they're going to go. I think they're doing 28 years later. 28, yeah. Do you see Charlie Hunnam is possibly going to be in it? No, I didn't, but you know me. Simp. Uh, you know what? I simp a little bit for him. I mean, not like Henry Cavill level simp for him, but I like him as an actor. Um, he's good in Pacific Rim. I, I actually yeah. like that that role. And he was good. I sort of liked his uh I guess maybe I'm a guy Richie simp now after the gentleman, but I liked uh his um King Arthur oh. one. Dude. It's a little modern and whatever, but he's but, you in know. he's in the gentleman movie. This is a fucking trap question. This is a fucking trap question. Because there's two. Right, because there's two answers to this. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. There's fuck. Well, there's one answer to this. Unfortunately, even if he's a TDS asshole. But then, yeah. Who's the best Joker? Look, oh. I have to say Mark Hamill, just like I have to say Kevin Conroy. Those are the best, as far as I'm concerned. Those are the best versions of Batman and Joker we've ever fucking got. And it's the it's what I would agree. It's what I would put everyone against. But right. So Mark Hamill yeah. aside, it really becomes, do you like Jack Nicholson or Heath Ledger? This is the yeah. two that would I think would be fighting. And I honestly, they're two different Jokers. They're two different Jokers. They're two different. Joker is a multiple choice. Like that's literally why that three, three Jokers different comic Jokers. works. Yeah. Because there's three, there's at least three different, right? They're, they're, uh, yeah, no, Ledger killed that fucking role so entirely that like that version and that voice and that everything. It was perfect. And uh, yeah, changed things. Yeah, forever. Uh, and no, that is not the role that killed him. It was not. He 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 had been having sleeping problems before. Certainly didn't help probably staying in that hotel room for a month, working it out. Yeah. But uh, no, that was just, you know, it happens. You, you think you took it and you didn't and you take a double dose and you're gone. But yeah, that, that was the first celebrity death that was like, damn. Yeah. 
I don't even know him, but yeah, no. So I, I did sort of cop out. Um, uh, I guess it's not a cop out because they are entirely different. Jack Nicholson is just his own thing, his own thing. And Heath is his own thing. I, it's very hard to compare the two. But between all the other ones, yeah, I would take those two for sure. Yeah, good uh, question. They came out of nowhere. That's great. Yeah, well, that is great acting. Yeah, no, that was a good one. Ledger. Ledger's the man. Uh, oh, oh, I... Yeah, I like Nicholson. Oh, sorry. What was... Uh... Oh, Jack Nicholson refused to have his makeup taken off and would go home and make up and leap him to a swimming pool full of 15 miles <laughs> and say it's good to get home to a hot dinner. Yeah, probably because the makeup takes like two hours to take off or whatever. You notice um, nobody said Jared Leto. No one's going to. Uh, Phoenix is good. That's sort of like he's Joker adjacent. Even in that yeah. movie, I, I never took him as like the Joker. He's a Joker that may be inspired. Like, because if you just go by ages, you're telling me that by the time Batman becomes prominent Batman, he's got like a, a 60 plus year old Joker. No, um, isn't that supposed to sort of be like the Red Hood kind of thing where like he I was think, a comedian kind of thing? It didn't go yeah. well. And I'm fine with that being as one of the uh, uh, multiple choice reasons for Joker. But uh, yeah, I, I prefer Joker to have a multiple, like, like much like Joe, Joker says himself. Like I, if, if I'm to have a backstory, I prefer it to be multiple choice. So like, I don't like having a definitive, his name was Jack Naper and he was a comedian and he blah, blah, blah. Or he's like, I, I like the sort of, I don't know who the fuck he is. And apparently we actually are getting a three Joker um, sequel, sequel comic. Cool. I mean, Jack wanted to go home so he could do coke and copious amounts of beautiful women. So I bless him for that. That's a good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no. Mark Mark Hamill is who I think is like. That's probably the best version of Joker we're going to get. That's as close to the comics as we're going to get. Just like Kevin Conroy was the most Ooh. accurate Batman from the cup. Because Gary says multiple times, we've never in all these years, we have never huh. seen. I know it's Amazon. We have never yeah. seen uh, Batman from the comics. We've seen close. We've seen close. Different parts have gotten it. Different movies have gotten it better. Uh, so Warhammer 40k on Netflix, obviously, yeah, that's uh Amazon. We're getting that. That's Henry. Henry says he's got like creative control, like actual producer. So I don't know. I don't know. It depends on how much control he has because you know they're gonna do everything they can. That if you want to talk about a toxic series, well, that one would fit the mold for sure. So I'll be impressed if Henry's able to get Warhammer through without any capitulations. And uh, yeah, fifth. 15 cover songs so 15 cover cover songs now apparently though they're doing it to lip syncing he's not actually singing I'm sure lady gaga will be singing but yeah no i get i get it being heavy on songs because of her but it's gonna be yeah. so much yeah i know no, i, I don't... just bust some balls jonathan this is a movie again that i don't think needs to be made i didn't think the first one needed to be made i know it ended up being all right good you know for whatever but it was just like uh, another one of those things is like so Batman product without Batman. All right, all right, but yeah, I do like uh Joaquin Phoenix, so and just okay. to inform you, the Latinx did message me, well, us, uh, a long time ago saying he's busy with the family, so he won't be here. At all. Unacceptable, unacceptable family life is there's no there's no family around here, we don't like hey, that. Hey, hey. No. I Fired. would rather be at Knott's Berry Farm with my kids than here with you people right now. God, lies. Lies. Uh, there's no better place than here with the family of the Badger Legion. Uh, it's Yeah, that's the thing. Is, I mean, she's great and all that, but uh, it does seem like the whole... I, look, I'm fucking over Harley Quinn at this point as a, as a character. Sorry. Sorry. She was great. She was great in the animated series and she had a solid run and Margot Robbie was great for at least that first one. Boy, am I just annoyed now by Harley Quinn. She's not, she's not fun anymore. Just, I just don't like it in any way she's used. No, she used to be really cool. I admired her through the animated stuff and you feel bad for her because even as a younger man going, wow, 
he treats her like shit. Why does she continue to go? Oh, because she's crazy like him. All right, fine, I guess. But I still don't like it. It's supposed I'm to a be piece a dysfunctional. Of shit. It's supposed to be a dysfunctional relationship. It's whatever. They emancipated her. And that Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. All that is really is like Suicide Squad killed the fan base because uh I like I my if you watch Batman the animated series, definitely her best her best depictions where now they have to replace and there's like another Harley called punchline or something like that. It's painful. Yeah. I, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Jesus. I don't like what I see. All I ask is that you listen to me. Yeah. The sequel will be great. If he comes back, uh, should be having any day now. PTSD from crazy chicks. Yeah. Yeah. Joker's the sane one now. I Oh my god. Like Don't the give Avengers. them ideas. Don't give them ideas. Oh my god. Yeah. Remember when we thought we were going to get in credit scene and they played the entire I hated it so much. <laughs> Any day now. Yeah. Yeah, no. I This is going to be the year of memeing. I don't, I I, I, most of the things coming out, we are just going to be making fun of. I don't think there's going to be any creative, like, well, actually, that was really good. Yeah. No, Hulk gets no musical. They don't have the rights. <laughs> they can't do anything with Hulk. And Mark Ruffalo is, uh, no, he's no bueno. Oh. It's doing what needs to be done. You know, that trans story time hour is going to happen whether you like it or not. So buckle up. Buckle up for the reading. You see? Yeah, it really is the best. It was the best version. Uh, it's how she was supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> mental illness and the, all. Not the Max animated. No. Yeah. No. Not the not the max man, I mean, which god that's <laughs> bro. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, I don't think that single uh <laughs> I don't think that single is gonna be hitting iTunes. A banger. Yeah, uh, the shower time sing along has a very it hits very differently. Um shout out to John for spreading manage democracy. Manage democracy. Well, I think we're going to go till uh, the one thirty. So we got about 15 more minutes. I mean, predictions for next week. It's going to be Friday. So everyone is going to be in Vegas for the most part. All the cool kids or traveling there. We could have gone. We could have, but then we would have had to show up in the parking lot and just hope for like overflow. True. Uh, by the way, I'm pretty sure every Mel Brooks movie has a context warning in front of it with some uh, angry black woman explaining what satire is. For sure. For sure. Uh, <laughs> Blazing Saddles. Didn't you state that they like uh, they Tomb Raider? They did it to Tomb Raider also. They added a bunch of warnings to the beginning of the game because of like yeah. depictions yeah, uh... and I forgot who it was, but yeah, they call them colonizers, basically. Sure. These were, yeah, the, these things. It's the context of the times. Holy shit, can you imagine the disclaimers we're going to have on things? For uh, You'll have to understand now uh, that 2020, everyone was batshit insane. So uh, all this DEI stuff is going to come with context warnings and uh, warnings uh -huh. for kids to not play it. Now, see, that must have been a magical time. To see I gotta tell you, saddles in the theater. The very first time I saw it was in a theater. They re, there was like a replaying, and I went with the coworker, and I was laughing my ass off. I said, "How is this in theaters? Like, I get it's, I get it's already existing. How are they still playing this in the theater? What a great film!" Uh, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> and first of all, can we talk about how the representation in the film is entirely lacking? 
and how the actors that they got to play these roles were not actual uh, victims of said war. And I don't think that's appropriate. I thought that's stolen valor. And, uh, you know, only should we can tell our stories. Right. Color. So they should have gotten actual victims of said event to play the role. Otherwise, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Canceled. Could you imagine forcing Canceled. these people to play in that role? Bro. Uh, I want to ask your age, but like you, you lived the good times and you've made it. Star Wars at the drive-in. Uh, that's pretty good. That's sort of sad, though. Could you imagine seeing Star Wars for the first time and then you have to see in your same lifetime the sequel trilogy? Oh, I thought you were going to say you're watching it, a good scene, and some asshole turns their high beams on and now you can't see in the drive-in? No, no. I was just more thinking of like, boy, you saw the invention of the internet and you saw the machines take over and Skynet us. Like, you just saw the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. We only have, I think, one working drive-in near us still. Yeah, if you're doing your job as a parent, you are showing your kids all the classics that we grew up. This is why I feel like uh, Irwin's parents failed him because, boy, he's missing some classical training, which thankfully he's catching yeah, up on. They might but, not uh, also have the same training, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, honey, I shrunk the kids. Are sometimes, uh, man. Great. Honey, I, shout out to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I think I tapped out at Honey, I Blew Up the Kids. Is that yep, the third that's one? when it jumped. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the and second also, one was acceptable. Shout out to Rick Moranis for stepping up. Uh, his wife died of cancer, and so he retired from being an actor to raise his kids, like, right yeah. and proper. Good dads. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, remember when he got punched in the face in New York? <laughs> hey. Oh, shout out my nag, Oh, uh, God, I see him everywhere. Get around, brother. And I saw your repost of you with the Saska sisters. Jelly. Oh, my God. Jealous? Jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. But shout out, bro. 199. Gets all the chicks. Uh, yeah, there you go. Little Shop of Horrors. That was an OG one back in the day. Yeah, they're all closing. Uh, I think Rat has still that I've been to. He's got some by it's him. Just but the one. Depends on how much space you have. I used to go to a bunch in Vegas uh, when my grandparents were out there. Those are almost all gone. Like you have to go into like the deep neighborhoods that are way far away from the strip to get a, uh... that's the whole point. Movie theaters in general are not doing well right now. Like there's a reason yeah. they're re-releasing -re star Wars again and re-releasing all the Spider-Man ones and like panicking. This movie is a dry, you talk about dry spell. This year is, is dry for people that own movie theaters. So let alone uh, drive-in specials. Uh, yeah, because yeah, to some degree, go. yeah, it depends. Well, no, you gotta go for the solid no, ones. You lose something in the transfer, like oh, of uh, your outdoors, 4K, like, yeah, yeah. Well, if it's nighttime in the scene, you're not seeing shit. If it starts right. raining, you got a whole problem. So I mean, it, it has its downsides. We saw the Batman at night while it was yeah. raining, yeah, uh, but I'm saying, like, everything. some. Some of the things just don't, they don't transfer, but it, it, it is good. And there should be more. I think every state should have a couple of drive-ins. I mean, um, ain't no one saying you can't sail the, 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 the high seas for, uh, by the way, inside out. Uh, the, the film See, threat would tell you that it would be uh, <laughs> not the greatest experience. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. Return of the Jedi. I did get to watch Return of the Jedi Special Edition on the Fox Studios like employee on lot movie theater when it got released because Mama Badger at the time worked for Fox Studios. So I did get some of the fun. Some, some good stuff back then. Oh, you got a lot of good shit back in the day. Free gifties, as they would say, as the kids would say now back in the day. But yeah, I did see special edition of which, which I did not get turned off by the special edition of Star Wars as everyone else did. I was fine with the added, like, at least those I got. Like, he couldn't do the shit in the 70s. CGI was enough, so we added the Banthas and certain other things. I liked the dance number on, uh, <laughs> on Jabba's Palace or the Jedi special edition. But uh, 
out here doing the Lord's work. Boy, you don't know. You know we need someone to drop. We need all the likes to the channel. Uh, the channel's dying. Our channel's under attack. Yeah. Oh, no. All he's, the likes and the sharing. He's referencing the high care. seas links. Oh, drop those links too. Yeah. No, by all means, I want people to be able to watch them. It's the one thing, like, I wish Erwin would sail the high seas to watch some of these X-Men 97s so we could Dude, talk about it. Tell him to hook up with, uh, like, uh, whatchamacallit, what are the, a VPN? So he's yeah. comfortable with yeah. it and just do your thing. Nord VPN. Are you being hunted? Are you being hunted In by fact, the online trolls? I'm going to work with it. That's going to be, all the, to we're, we're, we're going to get a things. VPN. We're going to get a VPN as our first uh, backer. Yeah. Yeah. No, I said no Raid Shadow Legends, but VPN, that's fine. Or uh, Secret okay. Labs chairs or Meta PC. Yeah, I know. You keep I'll mentioning show. all the expensive yeah. stuff, but I got to start at the bottom. No, no, no. I got to say the words so that the AI speech gets it. But yeah, do all the engagement things. And shout out. I see you guys in the chat with the uh, emotes uh, on videos and stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Am I? How was he not wrenched? My bad. Send it. Uh, I'm trying to. How the hell do you wrench someone? Oh man, I wish yeah, I had I'm more moving. control of your systems. Why don't you? Like, I'm clicking on his name. It's not. Oh, I'll, I'll get you taken care of. Nag, hold on. I guarantee you, it's got to be through the. Yeah, I have to do it through. Uh, I'm gonna go with my actual. I'm. I was running everything Streamyards. I have to do it actually through Xbox, probably. So, or Xbox through YouTube shows you where I am. One second while I do all the things. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that Nagadol is uh, wrenched by every single, every stream he's on, he's got a wrench. Sorry. Noob. Yeah, I only have so many, so much power. Okay. Uh, add as. Manage block words. There we go. Boom. I have magically conferred the powers of the internet gods to Mr. 199 himself. Uh, and John, you scare me. I've thought about wrenching you, but you definitely scare me with the powers. Imagine problematic without a tool. I know. He's so problematic. I don't know. I'll think about it. That's two is one man should not have all that power. I worry. There we go. Looking blue. Look at that wrench. Well, all right. Yeah, we got three minutes left. Did yeah, I promise you? I, I promise you a lot of things. I think we had again short week, whatever you want to call it. Um, no, it's a uh, little. You With can't have, uh, <laughs> I would say you can't have it pop in. I hit 13,000 views on that one. That was good. Yeah. That was good. All right. Who's 13? John? John's, John's older than 13. Oh, Ryan Hart. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, here. John, don't make me regret it. Use your power. <laughs> Use your power to defend the innocent. Uh, this is a great badge, Dan. I'm gonna head on. Yeah, everyone, go to uh, go to Leon. Words of Paradise. Um, shout out to him. I'm not doing the raid thing yet, but maybe next time we'll raid him. Yeah, I don't know what he. I don't know what he's got going on. He said he had some personal stuff going on. So just go over there and give him uh here. Go over to Leon's channel. Tell him uh, the Badger sent you. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you. Thank you everyone for showing up. Had a really good, had a really good group. I very much appreciate it. And uh, shout out to Nagranol. Thank you. And uh, John, my, my, my mods now. And uh, yeah, we will see you next Friday. For dear God, the seventeenth episode. Seventeenth, it's almost legal, bitch. I know. All right, guys. Everyone, go over to Have the on The angry badge just sent you. Thank you. Make sure to like, share, and sub if you're not subbed yet. Other than that, all right. We'll see you next week. Everyone, bye. Later. Go to Leon. Tell me and say hi.